Ah, hello! And welcome to the Freedom Show! This is the daily show featuring 10-minute, practical, usable, awesome advice from the most amazing lifestyle entrepreneurs because it's never just about the money, it's about the freedom. I am Ryan Lee. I'm your host, your teacher, your coach, and the founder of Freedom.com, the leading online education platform for freedom-minded people just like you. And if you want a very special gift, just text the word FREEDOM, that's F-R-E-E-D-Y-M, to the number 33444. Once again, text FREEDOM, F-R-E-E-D-Y-M, to 33444. And today, on our hot seat, is my man James Reynolds, all the way from the UK. This guy is a master at search engine strategies, organic search. You know, if you type in crazy heads... You want in Google and you want to get number one, you'll hire a guy like James to do it. If you want to learn more it, it, for all the people typing in crazy heads. I couldn't think of anything. Um, to learn more, uh, go to his site, Veravo. That is V E R A V O dot com. So, James, we've got 10 minutes on the counter. Are you ready to rock? Let's do this, Ryan. Let's go. All right. James, on this show, we don't go into the backstory in your favorite book and blah, blah, blah. We jump right in. You're known for search. Give me the secret sauce. We want it all. What is the secret to great search? Oh, well, everyone will spout the idea that it all revolves around content, um, and that is at the core of any search strategy. But beyond content, you've got to promote it. Uh, and to promote it, the, the, the main strategy that we tend to use is doing outreach. Um, and really, if you want to get search right, you've got to have fantastic content on your website. You've got to position that to the audience that is most likely to link out to you. And then you've got to put that content in front of them to generate links to your site. And for whatever information people say, out there links to your website is still the number one secret source for ranking a site on Google. Okay, the fir- the first thing you said, outreach. Explain that. How do we where do we go? What do we do for outreach? Okay, so it begins with producing content that is most likely to get linked to by the people in your market who have websites and typically post content and link out to to other sources. Um, So first, we've got to understand what is the content that's in our market that gets regularly talked about and is most appealing to the types of people that are most likely to link. Once we've created that content that's squarely positioned to meet their needs and the sort of content that they like to share, what we do is we go and approach other websites website owners who share content similar to what we've produced and we put our content in front of them and that's typically done through email but I guess you can also reach out through social media Um, but it's basically saying hey I know you're interested in um, pot plants I've just produced this fantastic post all about how to water and nurture your pot plants do you want to check it out and um, if they're into pot plants they probably will so it's a likelihood that they'll want to check it out and then if it's really good they'll probably want to link to it. Okay, so what do we do? Because I know in the real world, if you send that email to 20 people, you might only get one response. Is this just a numbers game? Um, It is partly a numbers game, yeah. So you're going to have to um, email a fair number of people to get a response. Um, If you've done your research correctly and you've created content that is most likely to resonate with that audience, you can get a conversion from outreach to links of about 10%. And that's a pretty good score to aim for. Um, Whereas typical outreach programs would only get maybe 0.5 to 1% conversion, which kind of sucks. But if you get things right and you use the right email scripts and you approach the right people with the right content, you can get a much higher conversion rate than that. Okay. Uh, and, and first, I'm just fascinated that you use the word not, which I love instead of saying nothing or zero, because <laughs> that, that's my favorite part. Second thing, okay, we're, we're, we're out there sending links. Now, I get emails all the time from people with these generic emails saying, hey, you know, you're, it's a great, you have a great site. I could tell they didn't look at my site, and it's just like, would you mind linking to my stuff? Um, yeah. I mean, is there is there anything about trying to build relationships first or do we do we really just go right in for it? And what does that email look like to to someone cold who you have no relationship with? 
Well, there's two approaches. One, one is going cold, and, and that would really require you to put content in front of that person that, based on your research, they know you know that they're interested in. Um, but you can also do warm approach, and, and warm approach is you know, obviously developing relationships. It's perhaps you know sharing content from their website or you know retweeting you know a tweet that they've put out because that will put you on their radar and also you know already give you a little bit more credibility than you know if you went in cold. So some of the best strategies are actually sharing other influences content and then when you've got a great piece of content that you want shared they're gonna you know more likely share that if you've already got a bit of reciprocity in the bank you know you've shared some of their stuff they're far more likely to perhaps share some of yours um, and there's ways of doing that I mean it, it could be sharing their content it could be you know featuring them in the post that you write it could be um, doing what we describe as sort of like awards bait type content where you recognize them as a, an influencer you know within within the market that you operate in there's, there's ways of doing that and increasing the likelihood that yes they will they will share your stuff if if you were starting from scratch and you weren't James Reynolds you didn't have the resources because you, you guys have a large agency with a lot of people doing this outreach what would you do starting from scratch knowing what you know um, because I know the link thing is great but to me that seems like that's going to take a long time um, for someone who wants <clears throat> to try to get some results a little bit quicker as opposed to just sending out email by email because it, or is that really the game? I mean, is it just organic search takes a long time? Uh, yeah, I mean, it really is. It really is the the game. I mean, there's no getting around the fact that you know the the two primary factors that influence organic search are, are content and um, those people linking to your content. Content um, and links. Th- write those down, guys. Content and links. Those are the two big factors. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it really it really comes down to that. I mean, so there's ways of speeding that process up, um, but it's going to involve a little bit of hard work. Really, where we're at now, you know, for SEO in 2015 is there are no shortcuts. You know, in the past, we heard of tactics where you could create articles and spin them and, mm-hmm. you know, automate the posting of those to article directories and all of that. and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, all that crazy stuff. Thankfully now, for you, I, and your listeners who want to do things properly and build credibility in the right way and genuinely earn their position within the search results, there is a little bit of hard work involved. But if you know the recipe and you put that recipe into practice, you can get results you know, more quickly than you might expect. So in terms of content, let's say we wrote an article, um, you know, the 10 best ways to... Uh, raise a happy child, okay? And it's a good article, it's solid, a few hundred words. Do you that recommend putting it in multiple places? Like, do you, do you put that on your blog and then on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter? I mean, take me through a little bit of a, of a tactical perspective on, on what you do with the content. Okay, so um, to begin with, the content will probably want to be far more in-depth than, you know, a typical article that you might be used to. I mean, really, if you want to get a piece of content on your site that is going to command people to link out to it, it's got to be bloody good stuff. I mean, it literally has to be the best possible piece of content you could produce around that topic. Mm. So getting the content right is at the crux. Go and look at the content pieces that have performed well in your market in the past. Look at what qualities they have. Um, look at where they were good. Look at where they were bad and find a way to improve on that content. It could be producing a piece that's more in-depth. It goes into more instructional you know, um, in- information than the other posts around. It could look better than those posts that are there. But it has to be has to be better in the the first instance. That's typically going to mean, you know, um, two thousand words um, there or thereabouts. That's typically the length that performs best within the the search results. Once you've got that piece of content, then outreach kicks in. Now, in terms of where you share your own piece, you don't want to share that piece of content in exactly the same form elsewhere. But you do want to kind of cut it down into sort of micro sized content for sharing on social platforms, um, so that you get a little bit of traction, you know, in that regard um but it would be sort of you know maybe image extracts or you know just uh, retweets and posts from the content that's going to attract eyeballs onto the post itself got it so you're not reposting the whole thing in facebook you'll take little pieces here and there and and put them out to all your different social media platforms yeah exactly and if you've produced a long piece you can disseminate that into you know multiple micro pieces of content which can really fuel that post you know probably for a, for a few weeks so one mistake people make is they try and post too often i think post less but post more in depth mm-hmm. and you'll get far more leverage in terms of generating at least seo results that's for sure okay final 
wrap up here because this went fast, didn't it, James? I told you. This, this does go fast. Yeah, yeah. Flies by. <laughs> Final piece of advice for everyone looking to get better organic rankings. Um, um, uh, infographics. Um, probably still the secret source of SEO. Um, there are more out there, but if you produce fantastic infographics, um, they really command attention. They're super shareable. And here's the trick. They're fantastic for outreach. But the challenge is when you do outreach for infographics and you say, can you put my infographic on your website? No one wants to write the introduction because they're, they're, they're too time poor and can't be bothered to put in the effort. So if you do outreach and say, hey, I've just produced this infographic on pot plants. I know you're interested in pot plants. And if you wanted to post it to your site, I'll write a unique introduction for you. Um, you you will find that you get a lot of people saying yes because they've got a unique piece of content that looks fabulous with a great introduction and they haven't had to put any work in at all. Wow. Love it. And you just gave me a great idea. So I'm off to the races. <laughs> so with that being said, we are going to wrap this session up with James Reynolds. Again, if you want to learn more about James, um, his podcast, his show, all of his products and services, all the great stuff about organic search, go to his site. That is Veravo, V-E-R-A-V-O, Com. And I hope you enjoyed today's show. This is Ryan Lee signing off from another episode of The Freedom Show. As always, stay tuned because tomorrow we've got something else for you. I'm here for you every day, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. No, not really that much, but I am here every day with a new show. So check it out. Continue to post on iTunes. Rate us, rank us, review us, whatever. It all helps, and I really appreciate it. That's it for today. See you tomorrow. Have an amazing day. Take care, and bye-bye.